So first I had all of this stuff on top of the grass just to kill the grass off a bit. There were some paper thorns and stuff so just to kill off the grass and to make it easier to till it a little bit and to open up some space for a new garden bed. Now the fun begins, digging in the compost. Yeah, that's a baby. Yeah. That's looking good, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a baby. Ooh, yeah, you getting it? Ooh. Shunga Lollas! Heh! Heh! Look at those! Look at those! Ooh! Yeah. You're filming, monkey, you're filming. Ew! Hey? Hey? I can see it, don't it's pooing. Ew! <laughs> Mommy, there's another one. Oh yeah, that's another one. Just chuck it in there, Mommy. Yeah, oh, there's another. See it yeah, there? You want to make How sure your compost is finished composting so that's why I'm taking from the bottom of the compost pile. Oh yeah that's another one. That's not enough. When your compost is finished composting and ready to use it'll be a dark color and light and fluffy. Oops, sorry. But uh, mommy I'll check for those big ones. You gotta watch out for those big ones though, hey mommy? Yeah. Those big ones are mean. The big lava that I keep finding in the compost is from the African fruit beetle. Don't know, I'm still recording. Wood lice in here, very good decomposers. Bella? No. And here's the beetle, the African fruit beetle from the lava, the big lava that we keep finding. It was a cocoon. Oh! It's those big ones that are not. Yeah. Let's see it. Now watch. Yeah. Look at that. Light and fluffy and ready to go on the native soil. Yeah, I got it now. See it? Yep. It's in my hand. Okay. Mm. Now, we're going to crack it. This one's a tough fella. You know, if that won't work, then I'll do this. Gee, she's a tough one. Ugh. See? Uh, That's how you squish one. And you see? That's what it looks like when you squish it. Wow. Ew, hey? Ew. Throw all of the fresh compost onto your native soil that's been freshly tilled. You can use bag compost, but this is just a lot easier for me. 
easily accessible and it saves a lot of money. Gently work it into the native soil. I'm just using a long fork. You can use any kind of garden fork or a spade even if you don't have a fork. Just work it in nicely to make sure that everything is mixed up and all of the organic matter is mixed into the native soil. Add a layer of mulch. I just used grass clippings that I kept over from when the lawn was mowed. And yeah, just evenly spread it out. Dry grass is the best. Look at this native soil, how hard it is. It's really hard to squish in your hands. It's very, very hard and not great soil at all. That's why we're doing the soil amendments and afterwards it's going to be light and fluffy just oh. like the compost. <laughs> Now, now let's check the compost. I want to show you guys how easily you can crunch it together and it holds together and yeah. it comes apart so easily. That's exactly what you yeah, want your soil to be like. So by adding all of this organic matter and the mulch and everything, your soil will be renewed again and it will become light and fluffy just like the compost. Now I'm just adding a layer of cardboard on top of the thin layer of mulch, the lawn clippings, and then basically I'm treating it like how I would do a no dig garden bed but just because the soil is really really bad we need to zhuzh it up and add nutrients back into the soil which the soil is lacking Now we're adding another layer of fresh compost, homemade compost, and then we're just going to even it out a little bit with a rake. We're going to show the Lolo. And these clumps are the decomposed matter that actually just crumble in your hands. And this is why they call it black gold. It's literally all the nutrients that your soil needs. video. I just had to get a bag for the grass uh, that mummy was so waiting for. She was so excited and she got it. Okay, mummy's just opening the bag. She's trying to get it. This way it's
Oh, she got it. Uh, I think she do it. So I did. So I got free bag of straw, straw grass from a local park, and I'm super excited. It's dry, which is exactly what we need, and it's almost like, hey, actually, it's amazing. I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to get this, and I hope I can get some more tomorrow um, to put in the rest of the garden, too. Ooh, how's that, guys? Ooh! Mommy, I didn't know there was a stick in there. Yeah. So this is the last layer of mulch and why you put mulch on top of your plain soil is to keep the moisture inside and also to retain um, heat, especially in the winter. It also helps to keep weeds down so it's really a godsend if you're a gardener or if you're looking at starting gardening, seriously, mulching is the way and yes it needs to be dry though it can't be wet so make sure it's dry and give it a go now we're just going to even it out a bit mm, not so good this going mommy can you talk because it's making this video quite bored i'm gonna talk all Okay, I'll just explain the stuff then, if you can say it. What are they? Awesome! <laughs> so these guys made cocoons in the compost. See? Easy. But that's what it looks like, guys. Is over? Sorry, I'm quite frightened with these things getting touched. So, Mommy did this earlier. And she was so excited for the grass. And she finally got it. And she hopes if there's another bag tomorrow. I don't know why she even got two. And, she and now we gotta give it a good we soak, a proper good soak of water. And then we can plant some yeah. here. So give me oh some no, ideas. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And bear in mind the season. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like if you enjoyed this. Hope to see you in my next video.